Welcome everyone to qualifying. This should be a good one. Good overtaking spots at Zandvoort are few and far between, so there's a lot of pressure to get qualifying just right. Drivers will be hoping for good downforce from their car setup to keep them on the track through the long sweeping corners. Welcome to a very wet Zandvoort. So uh, it's raining now. It will continue to rain for the duration of the weekend. So uh, I hope you guys brought your ponchos, but coming off of two pretty solid results, we do need to start really chipping in the Red Bull, especially at the latter portions of the season, but should be okay otherwise. We'll send both of our guys out. Should have no problem getting through into Q3, as per usual. Uh, he's 100% he's going to go in, isn't he? Ha, ah, Sergeant Joe Magnuson Albon boat task out in Q1. Sad eagle noises. Yeah, no one's even gonna take time here. Huh, well, I mean we executed, so provisionally P1 and P2. We'll see. Purple first sector there for Piastri, although somebody's overtaken us. So Piastri goes provisionally P2, Lando goes provisionally P1, but I think Max is about to take us all the way. Yep. Look out for the fuel. Three tenths. What will our guys be able to do? So Piastri will be the first one that will cross the line. Hopefully Lando did not catch traffic. We are purple in the middle sector here with Oscar Piastri. Will it be enough to get Piastri his first F1 pole position? That will be a yes up ahead of Carlos Sainz by 1.4 seconds. Atta boy. Can we cook more? Can we get a front row lockout? Can we? Yes! Pole position time there for Lando Norris. Nobody play spoiler. No! It's always the boogeyman. Final checks are being carried out by the teams, and it won't be long until we get this race underway. And for Lando Norris, this is another chance to see what he can do in this car. A second place start for them today. They'll be aiming for a podium, but could they even sneak the win? Here we go. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. Um... Um, and it's lights out, and away we go. <laughs> lights out, and away we go here at Zandvoort. That was a little strange, but it looks like we've uh, we've gotten away A-OK. -okay. My computer is not happy with the weather, but looks like we should be all right. So for the weather in this Grand Prix, we'll be kind of hovering around that intermediate mark, and we, we, we will be on dry tires uh, to finish this race out. So just got to keep Verstappen in check, and we'll hope to jump him on strategy. a lot of wiggle room here and you can see how the cars come together now that had the potential to do some real damage given the nature of that collision Sergio Perez moment it was George Russell involved and that won't help their chances well hopefully not a sign of things to come Pit stop time here for Piastri, so on to another set of intermediate rubber. Hopefully our weather data is correct, and if it is, I think we might have just pulled a blinder here on uh, on Team Red Bull and Max Verstappen. So down and away there for Oscar. We will come out still in P3 pretty comfortably ahead uh, of Charles Leclerc, and also now coming in we this time by for Lando Norris. So into the pit lane now, Stafford. please, no mistakes. 2.4 seconds, great stuff, guys. So we will come out how far back of Verstappen? Okay, Leclerc is the car behind. 12.5. Okay, not the end of the world, but look how much better with tire we have. We can make this work. And the car just locks. Ooh. And they'll need to be mindful of the effect that that had on the tires. That was close. Very heavy on the brakes. They took a gamble, and it was just too late. Wow, he's pitting. Did he take... He went on to another set of intermediates. Oh my god. Well, we are now in control of this race. I take it back. Well, K-Mag backs his way out of this race, and we've got a safety car. Russell is coming in. I wonder if this is for a set of slick tires. I was thinking about diving in uh, beforehand. It looks like it's going to be for another set of intermediates, but this weather will stick around until about, like I said, lap 60. looks like that's actually moved away a little bit, so I think we should be okay here, but a lot of teams are active in the pit lane. 
Safety car is coming in, and uh, the rain is going away as well. So in about four minutes, we can expect dry conditions, and I would imagine that the, that switch over onto uh, onto slick rubber is going to be rather quick. So Leonard Norris leads the field back to the green flag, but yeah, what happens between now and the switch? I'm a little I'm Just a little scared. Up. Well, uh, a very lonely pit stop here for Leonard Norris onto a set of medium compound rubber. I wonder if the AI are trying to go a couple laps longer and finish this race on a set of soft compound tires. Yeah, but either way, I, down and away for Leonard Norris as my FPS is back, thankfully, and uh, just waiting on the pit stop for Oscar Piastri. And there's the lockup. By that point, it was just too late. Huh, well, we're coming in with Piastri, and everybody's coming in behind us, so hopefully a, a mistake-free pit stop. Will we have anybody holding us up? It looks like we've gotten away scot-free. Great stuff there, pit crew. 2.5 seconds. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So out of the pit lane now uh, comes essentially everybody besides Max Verstappen, as that was a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, P3 and P4 with Sainz and Verstappen Sorry, staying out. What are you, What is Red Bull doing? And there goes the steering. But that's just the risk you take. The later you leave it. Well, Sainz with another issue there. But either way, Verstappen is in the pit lane. I can only imagine they're going to go on to a set of softs. We have no problem really getting to the end here. Uh, with Lando Norris, Verstappen is going to lose out big here. P1, P2, it's going to be close with Piastri. Looks like we're going to get him. Now so P1 and P2 at the, the moment. Got to hold on to it now. Ooh. Oh, Max, wow, yeah, Max wants to win this race, win this race, so up the inside, I mean, we do have a small tire advantage, but those soft tires aren't going off at all, I think we might have a fight for the win here. There are opportunities ahead. Uh-oh. And Lando Norris picks up the win. Just an incredible demonstration of why they belong in Formula One. Well, 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 Lando is back on the top step of the podium. Exactly the message that we wanted to send to Red Bull coming out of the summer break. So P1 for him. Verstappen ultimately comes home P2. I have no idea why Red Bull sent him so long on that set of intermediate tires, but I'm sure that'll be something that they'll rue for a little while. But uh, Piastri P3 okay, as well. Not a bad result. Double podium. Not quite sure where our pace went there at the end, but still not horrible. Sainz will be P4. Leclerc will come home in P5. Nice. Sonoda on track will come nice, home nice. in P6, but with his penalty, uh, Lewis Great Hamilton will assume us. that spot and come home in P6. And with, you know, so, with Sonoda in P7, Russell is 8th, Sergio there. Perez's nightmare race comes to an end in P9, and Lance Stroll will come home in P10. That's all for me. I will see you guys in Monza, I think. Today, Lando Norris has made the team's dream a reality. Incredible. That was a really well-deserved win. They got their race strategy absolutely spot on. Pure elation there as the driver regroups with a team that works so hard to see this moment. And after such a fabulous drive here today, it's no surprise to see this man land on the podium. And that's excellent, seeing both the team's drivers up there on the podium together. A sea of smiles all around. They're on top of the world here in Zandvoort.